Station Station in this morning. Sarah is in and she has uh, an experiment that's going to be <laughs> around the luck of maybe a few pennies. Yeah, so we're going to do some leprechaun science today. It only seems fitting, right? A pot of pennies. A pot of pennies. At the end of the rainbow. We're going to see if we can do some alchemy and maybe change our pennies into something better. Okay. Um, so I actually have some pennies. I've got this one we're gonna start with, and this is a brand new shiny penny. Mm -hmm. um, this is a 2015 penny. Okay. And our current pennies are actually 95% zinc. So the whole core is zinc, and just the outside layer is copper. Um, so what we're gonna do is actually cool this down. So I'm gonna dip it in liquid nitrogen, which is one of our all-time favorite tools, right? Right. Um, so we're gonna cool down all the layers of our penny, and I want you to get that mallet ready. Because when I put this penny on that little slab, I want you to hit it as hard as you can. Really? Yeah. All right, you ready? It's not often I get to <laughs> bust things. Right, okay. So I'm gonna put that down. Go ahead and hit it. Ooh. Uh, harder? Yeah, hit it again. Okay, Ooh. well don't break our table. <laughs> Tried. Should we cool it down again? Did I fail? No, you didn't fail. Oh, okay. Pennies are tough. I always have to ask. <laughs> no, no, you did not fail. Let's try one more. We're gonna cool it down just a few more seconds, but what we want to happen is all of those layers of the penny to become very brittle. Okay. Um, and, <clears throat> and then with your mallet, you should be able to crack them open. Um, but You like, know, Sarah, l let's try not to dance around this one. This is the nice scientific way of saying I'm not strong no, enough. No, that's not right? what I'm saying. Go ahead and give another hit. There you go. All right, we've got pennies yeah. everywhere. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna actually pick up our penny here. And if we look to the inside, you can see that core. It's kind of like that dark gray material. Mm -hmm. And just very little of it is actually made of copper. Okay. So this is all of the pennies that were produced anytime after 1982. 1982 was when they went from basically all copper to more zinc, correct? Yes. Okay. Yep. But I happen now to have know. some pre-1982 pennies, um, and these are solid copper. Okay. Now, if we cooled these down and I put them on there and let you hit them, we wouldn't be able to crack it because copper is very ductile, which means okay. it would stretch and bend and pull, but it would be very hard to like actually break it. Another nice way of saying I'm not strong no, enough No, no, that's to not what I'm it. saying at all. The theme here? <laughs> no. Um, but what we're going to do is actually kind of reverse the composition okay. of our penny. So now we're going to create a core that is all copper. So I'm going to take those pre-1982 pennies. Is that zinc in there then? That is, very okay. good. And we're going to add some sodium hydroxide to it. All right, and that sodium hydroxide is going to start a reaction that's gonna cause that zinc to actually um, plate the outside of our penny. But that's gonna take a pretty long time. I was gonna say, I'm not seeing anything happen no. in front of my eyes. It's gonna take probably like 20 to 30 minutes, which in TV time We're we don't have. We're gonna run a little short on time. <laughs> um, so I have some that I've actually pre-made. So okay. you can see that our zinc pennies are a much different color now. It looks more like a dime or a nickel. Yeah, so we kind of, you got a little crazy there with your mallet, but that's okay. So we're gonna put our pennies back up here. Um, so we have our zinc pennies, and you can see that they actually look much different than our copper or our zinc filled penny, right? right? Um, but we can change them one more time, which is pretty cool. Okay. So this time, instead of using something very cold, we're going to use something very warm. Ah. So our zinc penny, we can actually heat up with our blowtorch. And as we do that, we're actually going to kind of diffuse that zinc down into the copper penny. And then... That changed in front of my eyes. It did. So if you take a look at it, I don't know if our camera might be able to... Oh, good. They can see it. Um, you can see that our pennies actually look very different. So we've took it from being a copper-plated mm -hmm. penny to a zinc-plated silver penny, and now we have a gold penny. Do you want to make your own gold penny? They're still all worth one cent though, right? They are, they are. Do you wanna make your own? Yes, please. Okay, so you're just gonna use the blowtorch heat and go ahead and heat this one, yeah. And so what's happening is, like I said, we're diffusing that copper or the zinc into the copper. We're creating a nice alloy and it looks like it it's good. It happens pretty quickly. Right? Yeah. Okay. And so now you've created your own leprechaun money today but still only worth a penny. Still only worth a penny, <laughs> but at least in my mind, it's my little pot of gold. Pretty All right. cool. Spring break hours for you, kind of, is that what's new? Yep, and we also have Mythbusters closing in on its last month, so okay. end of April, you gotta make sure you get there before get it's Get it over. in before yep. it goes away. All right, Sarah, we thank you so much. Appreciate <laughs> you coming in. Stay with us. We have more of your day coming up in just a moment.